students we are learning departmental accounting in departmental accounting today we are going to solve the third problem here we are going to learn about uh, interdepartmental transfer of goods from one department to another department yes students i am going to read the problem listen carefully from the following figures prepare the accounts to disclose the total profit if they ask total profit we have to prepare departmental trading profit and loss account and general profit and loss account of two department namely a and b opening stock purchases carriage invert salaries given individually for a for department b general salary given all together rent and rates given all together advertisement given all together insurance given all together general expenses given all together discount allowed also given all together accountancy charges also given all together then sales for respective departments are given then purchase returns here purchase minus purchase return we have to record net purchase in the trading account debit side yes students likewise sales also if uh, sales returns are given we have to record the net sales yes then discount received then some more adjustments are given adjustment number 1 general salaries are to be allocated equally here the general salary are to be allocated equally we have adjustment for general salary then goods transferred from department a to department b rupees 5000 not yet recorded here goods transferred from one department to another department from department a to department b it is interdepartmental transfer for department a it is sales for department b it is a purchase so for department uh, a it is called a transfer or department so here the transfer should be credited uh, for uh, department b the transfer should be debited because it is a transfer department yes then the area occupied in the ratio of 3 is to 2 why this uh, ratio is given in case of rent uh, lighting depreciation of building should be divided in the ratio of uh, area occupation so here we have rent so we have adjustment for rent because the rent should be divided in the ratio of 3 is to 2 yes then insurance and accountancy charges cannot be allocated conveniently to any department some expenses we can divide some expenses we cannot divide so the expenses which cannot be divided should be debited to the general profit and loss account it should not be recorded in the trading account or in the profit and loss account then at last one closing stock of department a rupees 17800 and department b 15600 then i drawn the format departmental trading profit loss account i have two columns one is for department a another one is for department b the second part is profit and loss account now i am going to start first one is opening stock for department a 15200 for department b 10800 then purchases given at the same time returns also given so purchase minus uh, purchase return that we called a net purchase it should be recorded in the trading account 74000 likewise purchases of department a given and purchase returns also given what we have to do Pur uh, purchase return should be deducted from total purchase so we'll get a net purchase then carriage invert not given individually the overall expenses are given carriage inverts the total expenses for both departments are given so we should divide we should divide so the carriage invert is nothing but carriage inverts nothing but carriage on purchase carriage invert is nothing but carriage on purchase so this carriage invert should be divided on the basis of net purchase that we should divide on the basis of net purchase here our purchase of department a 74000 purchase of department b 69000 so our ratio is 74 is to 69 74 is to 69 so the total value 143 now we should divide this carriage invert in the ratio of purchase so 2860 divided by 143 into 74 for department a it's about 1480 then for uh, department b 2860 divided by 
143 multiplied by 69 will get uh, 1380 we divided carriage inwards on the basis of purchase then salary here the salary for the respective department are given here we we will not face any problem two salaries two salaries for department a rupees 9000 for department b 8500 then general salary we have adjustment for that to general salary the total value 11600 here the problem says the general salary are to be allocated equally equally means one is to one it should be divided one is to one so 11600 half given to a half given to department b then rent and rates it should be divided in the ratio of area to rent and rates the total rent and rates for both departments 6000 it should be divided on the basis of uh, area occupation it is 3 is to 2 3 is to 2 is nothing but 3 by 5 and 2 by 5 so 6000 divided by 5 into 3 so 3600 for department a this is for 2400 for department b yes then advertisement advertisement should be divided on the basis of uh, sales ratio advertisement advertisement should be divided in the ratio of sales now we will take sales ratio this is purchase ratio then we have to consider the sales ratio for advertisement for department a sales how much uh, 1 lakh for department b sales 80,000 now the ratio is 5 is to 4 so the advertisement should be divided in the ratio of 5 is to 4 so 8,100 divided by 9 into 5 4,500 for department a 3600 for department B. Yes. Then insurance. The problem says insurance and uh, accountancy charges cannot be allocated conveniently to any department. So insurance and accountancy charges cannot be divided, cannot be apportioned. So it should be debited to the general profit loss account to insurance. Insurance, its value 1000 and accountancy charges also they are saying cannot be allocated conveniently to any department accountancy charges accountancy charges its value 500 then general expenses general expenses should be divided total general expenses 5400 it should be divided in the ratio of sales yes 5400 divided by 9 into 5 3000 for department a 2400 for department b then discount allowed discount allowed should be divided in the ratio of sales discount allowed the total value 1800 it should be divided in the ratio of sales the value 1800 so 1800 1800 divided by 9 into 5 1000 rupees for department a 800 rupees for department b then accountancy char charges already problem says it cannot be divided so it should be posted to the general profit loss account debit side students look at this carriage inward should be divided in the ratio of purchase then we should divide the expenses based on the adjustments if any item for any item if adjustment is not given that should be divided on the basis of sales yes students next we will continue sales sales of a rupees 1 lakh since sales returns are not given i am recording total sales in the credit side of trading account then purchase return already we deducted from the purchase the balance recorded as a net purchase then discount received discount received credited to the profit and loss account the overall discount received is given 1430 the discount received also should be divided in the ratio of purchase it should be divided in the ratio of purchase 74 is to 
69 so for department uh, a 740 for department b 690 then general salary we consider goods transferred from department a to department b for transfer for transfer of department it is a sales for department a it is a purchase of department b so for a department we should record in the credit side for b department we should record in the debit side because this transaction did not recorded in the books not yet recorded in the books so credit side we should write by transfer to department a transfer to department b in debit side we should write transfer from department then the area occupation we used for uh, division of rent uh, insurance uh, and accountancy charges cannot be allocated conveniently it should be debited to the general profit loss account at last uh, closing stock of department a 17800 credited in the trading account and the department b 15600 now i am going to balance here first uh, the credit side total of uh, department a is higher than debit side total of department a so 1 lakh Plus five thousand, plus seventeen thousand eight hundred. The total value of uh, department A in the credit side of trading account one lakh twenty two thousand eight hundred minus fifteen thousand two hundred minus seventy four thousand minus thousand four eighty. So gross profit of department A thirty two thousand one twenty. This is gross profit. It should be transferred to profit and loss account. Gross profit thirty-two one twenty. Then credit side of uh, credit side total of department B ninety-five thousand six hundred. Debit side we'll add first ten thousand eight hundred plus sixty-nine thousand plus one thousand three eighty plus five thousand. So the credit side total heavier. So ninety-five thousand six hundred. Ninety-five thousand six hundred minus. Eighty-six thousand one eighty, ninety-five thousand six hundred. Balance will get uh, nine thousand four twenty, nine thousand four twenty. Then we will balance the profit and loss account. Profit and loss account uh, uh, department lay debit side tot value, total value nine thousand five thousand eight hundred, three thousand six hundred, four thousand five hundred, three thousand thousand. Department A debit side total of uh, profit and loss account twenty six thousand nine hundred. The credit side total is heavy. How much? Zero six eight two three. So thirty two thousand eight sixty. Thirty two thousand eight sixty minus the balance of debit side five thousand nine sixty. It is net profit should be transferred to the. It is net profit transfer to the general profit loss account credit side by net profit of department A. Its value five thousand nine sixty. Then we we'll look at the department B profit and loss account debit side. I think debit side of uh, debit side is heavier than credit side. Yes, we'll add debit side nine eight thousand five hundred plus five thousand eight hundred plus two thousand four hundred plus three thousand six hundred plus two thousand four hundred plus eight hundred. So the debit side total is twenty three thousand five hundred, twenty three five hundred minus nine thousand four twenty minus six ninety. Department B concerned the incurred loss, net loss thirteen thousand three ninety by net loss. It should be transferred to the debit side of general profit loss account. Net loss for department B is about thirteen thousand three ninety. Then we should uh, balance the general profit loss account. So general profit loss account debit side value heavier than credit side value. So overall it incurred loss fourteen thousand eight ninety, fourteen thousand eight ninety minus five thousand nine sixty. The balance eight thousand nine thirty is the net loss overall. students we completed the third problem in relation to department accounting in next class we will solve different problem till then bye and thank you